Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you know in the last video we took the bed of the rascal off and that was quite a big job. It took four attempts and many screws, many bolts and all that. Um, and now we're actually in the process of cleaning it up and then we can address, uh, address all of the rust and any other problems that we've got. So as you can see we've started clearing up the framework and it's actually in really good shape believe it or not this bit here actually sprayed previously so that's why that looks really good but this is the original here this is original paint uh, and this is what's actually on it how much rubbish has been flying up here so there's been a lot of oil and dirt and everything flinging up and we think it's come from the drive shaft oil seal but it may have been replaced at some point. I don't think it's actually doing it anymore. Um, it just this is what's left of it because it's this is you know it's never been off and cleaned before. So I'm in the process of cleaning it all up, and then, like I say, we'll address the rust and any other problems as we come along, come across them. There's still all the bed to do as well. That's a, a big job in itself. So you can you can clearly see the difference. This is with cleaning it up. I haven't done here yet, but uh, all the way along here, this is all the original dirt and everything. So it's going to look pretty amazing when we're done. So what I've been doing here is putting gunk on here, and you you'll be able to see how thick the build-up is on here, the oil that's been building up for years. You have to actually scrape it off because there's that much on there. And then we'll clean it up afterwards. This has in fact been protecting these bars, all this oil. But we're going to paint it all with hammerite so that it won't rust anymore. Um, it's going to be quite a job though. <laughs> but even just that, look at the difference. Look. You can see how thick it is. So much oil on it. But you can see what it's going to come up like. And this is not even painted yet. It's going to look fantastic. I'm going to clean up all this as well. Try and get all the rust off. Dress this at a later date. Clean up the fuel tank. It's going to be amazing. Here you can see a cable which we've cleaned up. How nice it's come up. It looks like brand new again. And this is what it would look like before. It's a huge difference. To some people this will look extremely daunting, um, there's a lot of work to do here and a lot of cleaning to do but I like it personally, it's a bit of fun and I get to know the vehicle so much better than I would have if I hadn't tackled this. This is something I wanted to do from the day I bought it actually um, and really see what it was made of and see what it was really like underneath and I think I've got a really good one here, I think I'm very lucky. I mean, this is stainless, which is, it looks really good when it's cleaned up, it's amazing. This is the initial clean up, uh, I've spent many hours on this today, but um, basically I've just been degreasing like all these areas, it's going to need a second pass on this, but it's coming up nice. Uh, you can see here, like I've got all the grease off, there was some, this is what it was like underneath, it was black before I mean a lot of it's actually corroded now but you can still paint it up and make it look nice and protect it further uh, there are still some areas around here that need some more degreasing I've come to the conclusion that this frame must be galvanized uh, this bit here which is hard to see because of the shadow uh, let's see can you see it there the corrosion that's happened there is probably because of the battery acid from years gone by. Um, so all this frame is looking pretty good. I'm still grinding back the 
rusty areas all around here. It's looking pretty good actually. There's uh, quite a bit of dirt on it and not much rust actually. Nothing structural. Uh, I've ground all these off. These are no longer going to be on here anymore. There's no need to have anything connected on here. It's looking pretty decent. So what's going to happen once I've degreased all this on the second pass is I will start uh, painting it. So I'm going to paint it with smooth white hammerite. Uh, everything that's white so somehow I'm gonna have to try and get behind all these uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult I'm gonna have to uh, probably disconnect them just from the frame not actually remove them just take them from the frame then paint behind it and then when it's dry put it all back again but we'll see when we come to it and it's gonna be look pretty amazing I will document it so you'll all get to see what's going on I'm currently in the process of detaching a few of these components such as the towing plate here. So I'm gonna you know tart these up again, grind this back where it was as well, paint it all, and then when I put it back it'll all be nice and it won't corrode either. So the next thing I'm actually working on is taking this uh, back plate off here. There's a few bits and pieces attached to it. As you can see, I've got lots of uh, electrics here and all sorts and brackets and see and they're quite uh, corroded these ones so I've sprayed a load of uh, penetrating fluid in there and hopefully it'll all come off shortly and I can paint it all up I mean this isn't going to be an amazing professional finish it's just going to be uh, tarting it up I'm going to be using uh, hammerite so that it basically just you know it bonds with uh, the rust that is on here and it'll just stop it from getting more rusty and it'll just look nicer as well I'm actually trying to make sense of this wiring but it's just chaotic I mean look at these connections how has it even been working like things are just wrapped around and spliced on and these cables go into places where they don't go anywhere nothing happening I've just pulled a cable out actually that went the whole length of the pickup and it was grounded to the main harness but it didn't actually connect to anything. I understand these plugs, these are fine but there's a lot in here that I don't understand. Uh, that's a ground wire obviously. But then it's obviously connecting to this as well so then the real lights will work on the, on the Roma home. So I have to try and remember how this all goes because I need to actually fit it properly. I don't want all these spliced wires, it's just it's horrible. I've managed to disconnect one. Uh, that one's a lot simpler, but this one is not simple at all. It's horrible. I don't like these connectors either. I want rid of these and I don't know, I have to figure something out. Better way of doing it. So I'm taking off this uh, cross member here at the back because it's a right state and I'm going to make it really nice. It's even worse on the other side. <laughs> this is going to look really nice when I uh, reinstall it again. For the past couple of hours, we've been working on uh, sorting out these parts and just like getting the worst of the rust off. I've just been using a Dremel and an angle grinder and uh, you know the rust isn't actually like penetrating it's just on the surface so we're gonna just paint it with hammerite anyway and uh, it'll come up nice like here's another part that I've done this is the uh, basically the towing hitch 
just angle grinded it all off. It's nice. Um, just done areas around here like the mounts. I've got uh, all this. So all this is rust. I've grinded some of this back, but only where I can actually get the grinder in. Um, back here, just on these uh, mounts here, I've grinded these back as well. Because this is uh, where things are actually going to be connected. So I want a nice good connection. Because uh, I'm probably going to have electronics actually mm -hmm. connected grounding wires here and stuff. Uh, same on the other side here. Done all that bit there as well. Sorted out the rust on here on the filler pipe uh, mounts again, as you can see, um, and back here to the cab again as well. So this is uh, it's just all surface rust. I'm being very lucky with this one. I, I didn't actually have any structural rust, so that's good. There's the only bit that I've found is actually on the bed itself. Because um, there's actually a hole rotted through it in a couple of places, but that was to be expected to be fair So I'm going to start with a bit of paint now and just see how it comes up